Parasite the Grey opens with a mysterious object falling from the sky. The object dropped into the middle of the music festival. A larva came out of the strange ball and entered the body of a drunk human. A few minutes later, the larva turned into parasites that control the human body. This parasite turns the heads of the humans it controls into sharp weapons that can lengthen. With these weapons, parasitic monsters carry out attacks that kill many festival visitors. Then the storyline of this series is pulled back to one hour ago, we will be introduced to the main character named Suin. This girl worked as a supermarket cashier and got into an argument with a shopper named Kyung Chun. The man did not want to comply with purchasing procedures and was scolded in front of many people visiting the supermarket. Kyung Chun had revenge against Suin. He followed Suin home from work, then bumped into Suin and stabbed her in the back with a knife until Suin lost consciousness. When Kyung Chun was about to kill Suin, Kyung Chun suddenly died due to a mysterious attack. The next day, Chulman police detectives received information about Kyung Chun's criminal activities and the condition of his body. It was revealed that Kyung Chun had a mental illness and had died. Chiolman goes to the hospital to meet Suin, who has just woken up. Suin saw that the wounds on her body had mysteriously healed. It only leaves visible scars that have been around for a long time. Chiolman tries to get information from Suin about Kyung Chun's attack. At this moment, the girl couldn't remember clearly what happened after she fainted as a result of being stabbed by Kyung Chun. Chiolman shows his concern as if Soon is a valuable family member for him. It is at this moment we know that Chiolman is a very valuable figure for Suin, because in the past, he was the one who saved Suin from her father, who liked to commit acts of violence and abuse at Suin. After talking a few things, Chiolman left Suin so she could rest and recover her memory. Sometime later, Suin returned home from the hospital after her condition was cured. On the road, Suin is followed by a suspicious man who has bad intentions. The man blocks Suin with the woman who was his partner. In this dangerous situation, Suin felt a strange brain wave appear briefly. After the three of them were in a quiet place, a mysterious man and his female partner showed their actual terrifying forms. Their heads split open, becoming the parasite's signature weapon. At the same time, Suin's head releases a powerful force, which finally shows that the parasite has also controlled Suin. When they discovered Suin's identity, they stopped attacking and invited Suin to join a parasitic human organization. After they leave, Suin meets a thug named Gangwu. Since a while ago, Gangwu had been secretly monitoring the situation, so he knew that his older sister had now become a human parasite. Gangwu was willing to comply with the parasite Suin's orders so that he would not be killed by the parasite. A few moments later, Suin was free from the parasite's control and felt confused. Gangwu carries out the parasite's orders to deliver the message to Suin. Gangwu stated that Suin parasite is a variant type of human parasite which means that the parasite in Suin's body can only control 50% of her consciousness. This parasite failed to take over Suin's brain because its energy was drained from healing the stab wounds on Suin's body when she was attacked by Kyun Chun. This parasite also deliberately heals Suin's stab wound so that it can survive in Suin's body. Before Gang Wu leaves, he warns Suin to stay away from parasitic human organizations. Based on information from the parasite in Suin's body, the people in the organization want to kill Suin because she is different from their kind. Then we show the action of a special team unit fighting to destroy several human parasites in an apartment complex. After the destroying mission was successful, it was revealed that this special team to destroy parasites was called Team Grey and was led by a strict woman named Jun Kyung. The next day, Jun Kyung holds a meeting with Chiolman and his colleagues from the local city police. At the start of the meeting, Jun Kyung congratulated everyone because the examination photos showed that Chiolman and his colleagues were not human parasites. Jun Kyung conveyed a number of important information about parasites that have taken control of the human body. This woman also showed human remains that had been controlled by parasites, but they had managed to defeat them. Based on the results of the investigation, the parasite has spread throughout the world, and the most spread is in their city. Jun Kyung also revealed that parasitic humans will die easily when they experience heavy bleeding or their heart is badly injured. She recommended the air rifle as a weapon to eradicate human parasites. The parasite will automatically die when it is removed from the human's body. After conveying all the information about parasites, Jun Kyung also showed her husband who had now become a human parasite. A special helmet was attached to the man's head which released a chemical liquid so that the parasites in his body did not dare to fight. Jun Kyung's husband has the ability to detect parasitic human brain waves so he uses it to track the location of parasitic humans. Because she had been attacked by human parasites, this female police officer emphasized that humans infected with parasites had lost their minds. So Jun Kyung asked the police not to hesitate to kill parasitic humans because they are no longer humans. Elsewhere, Stuin reads a letter previously written by the parasite while controlling her body. Apart from telling the truth that had previously been conveyed by Gangwu, 
the parasite also conveyed new information. That this parasite could only take over Suin's consciousness for 15 minutes. So the parasite would only control Suin's body when they meet big danger. Suin couldn't remember anything that happened during those 15 minutes. Because of this, humans controlled by parasitic variants like Suin will only look like humans who have multiple personalities. After reading the letter from the parasite, Suin's mind became very confused. She knew that the parasite could protect her, but it would also change her life so that it was no longer normal. The next day, Suin was visited by Chiulman during her work break. As usual, Mr. Chiulman showed great concern because he considered Suin like his own child. In fact, Chiulman was suspicious of Suin's changes since she survived Kyung Chun's assassination attempt. The police's suspicions became stronger when he discovered that the wounds on Suin's body had healed very quickly. From this suspicion, Chiulman managed to pull out a strand of Suin's hair to examine it. He wants to do a test to find out whether Soon is a human parasite or not. After that, he left Soon's workplace. The saddest thing is, Soon doesn't know that Chiulman is investigating her. In the night, Soon was forced to follow orders from the parasite humans to meet with the head of the parasite human organization, whom they called the pastor. It turns out that the title pastor is only an accessory to disguise their organization as a church congregation. When she arrived at the location, the priest wanted to meet Soon directly. He wants to study the unique ability of the parasite in Suin's body to imitate human facial expressions. In that place, Suin gathered with many parasitic humans who were followers of the pastor. After getting acquainted with Suin, the pastor makes a speech to explain the primary goal of the parasitic human organization. Initially, this organization only aimed to take over human brains and eat normal humans to survive. However, since Team Grey revealed the parasite's existence, the organization's goal changed to surviving Team Grey's attacks. The priest asserts that Team Grey's attack can be overcome if the members of the parasitic human organization are willing to unite and utilize their unique and diverse talents. At the same time, Gangwu investigates the church congregation group that his older sister belongs to. After learning that the group was a parasitic human organization, Gangwu tried to infiltrate a warehouse near where the pastor was giving a speech. Gangwu was surprised to see that the warehouse turned out to be a storage warehouse for human corpses killed by parasitic humans to be used as food. While examining the corpse, Gangwu accidentally finds the body of his younger sister, who recently mysteriously disappeared. Gangwu suspects that his younger sister was killed by his own older sister, because now his older sister is also a member of the parasitic human organization. Feeling sad because he saw the terrible condition of his younger sister's body, Gangwu became furious and attacked the warehouse guard. This young man seemed to have the strength to defeat the human parasite guarding the warehouse. But his actions caused such a commotion that it could be heard at the altar of the priest who leads the organization. To stop Gangwu's actions, the priest asked all congregation members to chase the man. Suin used the chaos to leave the church. Not long after, members of a parasitic human organization encounter a group of thugs trying to capture Gangwu. While the organization members were busy fighting with the premises, Gangwu used this opportunity to escape. He accidentally met Suin, who was running away too. They run away together and meet Gangwu's fellow thug named Kyungmin. However, in the middle of the journey, Kyungmin suddenly betrayed and tried to kill Gangwu for no apparent reason. The situation gets even more chaotic when one of the members of the parasitic organization finds them and attacks their car. Seeing this dangerous situation, the parasite in Soon's body immediately took over and fought against the organization's members. Because of this, the car they were traveling in had an accident and landed on the edge of a cliff. The parasite called Suman slowly takes the opponent further away from the car and into a broader area to give them more freedom when fighting. Long story short, the parasite in Suman's body managed to defeat the organization's members because this unique variant of the parasite was stronger than ordinary parasites. But before dying due to a parasite attack on Suman's body, the parasite called Suman a traitor. As time is running out, Suman's parasite loses control and returns to Suman's consciousness. Meanwhile, Gangwu tries to escape from Kyungmin's car, which almost falls into a ravine. During a critical situation, Kyungmin admits that he tried to kill Gangwu to make peace with another group of thugs. After Kyungmin died from bleeding, Gangwu tried hard to get out of the car. When Gangwu almost fell into the abyss, he survived because of the parasite in Soon's body. Elsewhere, Jun Kyung, leader of Team Grey, is busy checking case documents related to parasites. She accidentally finds Kyung Chun's case documents involving Suin. With her ability to analyze crime cases, Jun Kyung immediately concludes that Soon is a human parasite. Then Jun Kyung's past is shown before she became the leader of Team Grey and before her husband turned into a parasite. This scene shows that Jun Kyung's husband turns into a parasite while he waits for his wife to shop at the supermarket. At that time, her husband attacked all supermarket visitors, including his wife. 
Jun Kyung managed to stop her husband's actions after she doused her husband's body with a chemical liquid that he accidentally found in the corner of the supermarket. Since this incident, Jun Kyung has been traumatized to the point where she has difficulty sleeping. Returning to Suin, she meets Gang Woo to discuss the events at the church with Suin. Gang wants to report the parasitic human church to the police because he wants to seek justice for his sister's death. Feeling that Gang Woo's decision was correct, Soon gave Chulman's number. He immediately provided information on the location of the church, where the parasitic human organization was hiding. In this brief communication, Gang Woo hid his and Suin's identities to avoid future problems. Since then, they began to be friends as a form of Gang Woo's kindness to Suin. Moreover, they both don't have parents. As a police officer, Mr. Chulman immediately processed Gang Woo's report. After getting proof that Gang Woo's report was valid, Chulman met Jun Kyung to tell her about the report. After listening to the report, Jun Kyung asked about Suin. Even though Chulman said he didn't find anything strange about Suin, Jun Kyung could feel that Chulman was lying. Several hours later, Jun Kyung mobilized the Grey team to surround the church of the parasitic human organization. This raid was carried out with the Chulman police to make it more effective. Gray's team finds that all members of the parasitic organization have left the church. They found a warehouse storing normal human corpses, which have been food for parasitic humans. Chiolman checks the church and finds the keychain he previously gave as a gift to Suin. Chiolman immediately hides Suin's keychain so that Jun Kyung doesn't find out. But Jun Kyung saw Chiolman's strange behavior, so she started investigating Chiolman. Jun Kyung also assigned the police to investigate Hyukchu, who is the manager of the church. At this point, we are shown that the figure called the priest in the parasitic human organization is Hyukchu. It turns out that Hyukchu has disappeared, which makes Jun Kyung believe that Hyukchu has become a human parasite. Woon Suk, Chulman's detective partner, secretly met with Hyukchu. It is now revealed that Woon Suk has been a spy for a parasitic human organization. Because of the information provided by Woon Suk, all members of the parasitic human organization managed to escape before Gray's team accompanied their church. Hyukchu instructs Woon Suk to kill Jun Kyung's husband, so the Woon loses the way to track the parasitic human organization. Sometime later, Suin and Gang will meet Chulman at an abandoned park. Gang Woon tends to ask Chulman about the progress of the investigation into the parasitic human church. But before that, Chulman asked about Suin's key chain, which she secretly carried. After Suin stated that her crucial chain was missing, Chulman confirmed that Suin had been at the church. Chiolman urges Soon to tell him what happened at the church and explain why Soon is acting suspicious. Soon couldn't be honest at a time when Jun Kyung's dilemma emerged after following Chiolman for a long time. Realizing they would be captured, Gang Woo immediately attacked them to distract them. Then Gang Woo and Soon ran away, hiding in a haunted house at the amusement park. When Jun Kyung comes to kill Soon, the parasite in Soon's body takes over Soon's consciousness to deal with a dangerous threat. Due to the command in the parasite in Soon's body, Gang Woo ran away first and waited for Soon in a pre-planned location. The Soon parasite manages to paralyze Jun Kyung, and she escapes to catch up with Gang Woo. However, this parasite is surrounded by Team Grey, so the parasite finally lets go of control and returns to Soon's consciousness. Meanwhile, Jun Kyung rushes to meet her husband because the parasites in her husband's body continue to send dangerous signals. But when Jun Kyung found her husband, who was already dead, they don't know that Woon Suk has killed Jun Kyung's husband. With the death of her husband, Jun Kyung lost the means to track the location of the parasitic humans and their organization. As a solution, Jun Kyung moves her husband's special helmet to Suin's head, so that Suin can become a new tracking device. With this scene, the series Parasite the Grey episodes 1-3 to are finally finished.